Welcome to Haltech Elite NSP Training Part 72. In this training module, we're going to be taking a look at working with our electronic wastegate control using our NSP software. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our electronic wastegate control using a Haltech Elite and our NSP software. Now what we'll find here is what we cover in this tutorial can also apply to the Nexus system. The only difference between an Elite and a Nexus in terms of electronic wastegate control is that the Nexus can directly drive and control the electronic wastegate without the need for an inline driver module as we'll have to use with an Elite system. That's because the half bridge outputs that control the electronic wastegate are sufficient in terms of the amperage sinking with a Nexus system, but not with an Elite. So that's why we have to have the inline module between the Elite and the electronic wastegate, which is gonna act as a, essentially a pass-through. And that module, which is called a DCMD or the DC motor driver, that's gonna be handling the actual amp sinks to control that opening and closing of the electronic wastegate. So let's jump in here and talk about what we need to configure and set up for the electronic wastegate and all of the control routine here. Um, it's relatively straightforward. Haltech's done a great job with simplifying the setup and the calibration process here for working with electronic wastegate. Let's jump in here and take a look exactly what we're gonna do. So the first thing we're gonna go and move from our field tuning page, we're gonna jump into main and we're gonna turn on our boost control. And then we're gonna go and see what we have to configure for the electronic wastegate setup. So we're gonna go here, moving down our list, we're gonna engine functions. And then here under boost, we're gonna turn on our boost control app output. That's gonna be allowing the option to work. Now in our boost control tab, we have a whole bunch of different things to talk about. If we're dealing with electronic wastegate control, we're gonna leave our mode here on closed loop. We're also gonna have our controlled parameter here based on manifold pressure. We're not gonna choose other options here. Now we do have some other options such as output frequency, min and max duty cycles, uh, PAD integrator max, there's a derivative, overboost offset, uh, spool assist, closed loop, minimum TPS. This all applies from what we've talked about in our other training tutorial. The output frequency here isn't really important uh, because we're controlling the electronic wastegate and that's not gonna be a frequency-based type control. So we don't actually have to worry about that, but everything else here still will be relevant. Um, we still also have our arming switch enable, our boost trim enable, and our scramble boost enable. This all still works in the same functionality in terms of a desire target pressure for a scramble boost or an offset in pressure when we have our boost trim enabled here. Arming switch allows you to turn on or off your boost control. So all of this still retains in terms of that functionality. Let's go in here before we jump into any of the programming here, into the programming tables. What we need to first do is configure all the details for the wiring for our electronic wastegate control. So if we go here to wiring, we have to go to the output type and select what we're working with here. So if I go to my output type, I'm gonna be choosing in this case a turbo smart wastegate. And we can see we have a bunch of different options. We have our Gen 5, the external electronic wastegate, comp gate 40, 45, 50, and 60. Then we also have our options for dual gates. So you have a manifold that's a divided manifold with dual gates. You'll have to use two electronic waste gates, and in that case, you'll have to go in and select that as your option. Now, the reason why we're finding that we have different options here to select from TurboSmart in terms of the size of the waste gate is because the flow through that waste gate valve size is going to change specific to the wastegate we're working with here. And we'll find that what Haltech's done in the background, and we'll get into this a little bit more later in the tutorial, they have essentially flow tested the wastegate and they know at a certain valve travel how much the wastegate can flow. And they've translated that back into a duty cycle lookup that we were familiar with working with a boost control solenoid as we would have uh, the manifold pressure boost control with a boost control solenoid. We've went over pretty extensively all of those options up to this point in the training course. So this is going to allow, by choosing this, the control routine specific for the flow through the wastegate relative to the gate that you're dealing with. And again, if you have two gates, you'll select your two gate option. In this case, I'm going to be setting it up here on this Hypergate 45. We'll select this option. And then the wastegate drive type, we can see right here, that's gonna be allowing us to only choose this option using our DCMD or the DC motor driver. That's the inline module that goes between our Elite 
and the electronic wastegate. Now, if you have a Nexus, when you choose your options here to control the positive and negative aspects of the electronic wastegate solenoid or the electronic wastegate um, circuit, I should say, using the half bridge outputs, any half bridge output will work on a Nexus to control the positive and negative or up and down movement of that wastegate valve. So that's kind of the distinction here. Again, with the Elite, which is what I'm demonstrating here, we're going to be using this as a DCMD module in between the gate and the Elite. The next thing we need to do here is go ahead and assign our outputs for this drive motor. So we have a positive and a negative here. Let's do a quick reboot. If we go to the assign, I have digital pulsed outputs and that's what I'm going to be using. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.